hard now, Stacey. <laughs> 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 Did the whole thing mouth open. If you would like, if you want to show me how to use your camera, I'll take a close-up of the two of you together. Okay. Have it all set up? Yeah, okay, cool. cool. You can actually stand up and get pretty close to her if you like. All right, Einstein. This is <laughs> you can actually get, there you go. And Heine. <laughs> this direction, Heine. Woo! <laughs> She's got her eye focused on something. Einstein. <laughs> this direction, Heine. Whoop. All right. We got it. Good. Thank you, Stacy. Fox. Owls and oh, predators. Oh, my God. Out there the populations in the wild. Oh, oh, rats. Thank you. I forgot to mention rats. They do eat rats. They'll eat gophers and a lot of ground squirrels. Matter of fact, since Einstein's been here at the bird show, they haven't had a rat anywhere around the place. He's been doing a great job. Good work, Einstein. Again, she is a Eurasian eagle owl. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, tropical rainforests, although they're only a small portion of our planet, are important to us for many reasons. First, they're home to almost half of all the plant and animal species that are found on our planet. Plus, they provide us many of the things that we need to survive. Tropical rainforests affect our weather. They give us air, food, water, and about 40% of the medications we currently use today have origins in tropical rainforests. Now, they're also home to a lot of different species of parrots, and that's what we're going to be showing you next. Bring out a little guy we call Frankie, and Frankie is a Gotham's cockatoo. All the way out here, buddy. Good boy. Now, parrots are up toward the top of the intelligence scale in the bird world. In order to demonstrate Frankie's intelligence, I do need the help of another volunteer. So I need somebody who has a dollar bill. Most of my has. The young man in the blue dodger shirt, you got a dollar? You can stay right where you are. Just hop up on the bench for me so everybody can see you there. Yep. Back over there where you were. Okay, let me see your money then. That'll work, too. Okay, I need you to fold it in half. There you go. Fold it in half again. Great job. Now, once more the other way, so it makes a small square. Perfect. Are you afraid of birds? No. Good. Hold it straight to your side. A little bit higher? Perfect. Frankie, show me what you do with all money. Fine. All the way out there, Frankie. All right, buddy. Get that money. Get it. Grab it. Got it. Good boy. Good. Very nice. <laughs> now, show me where his money goes. Yeah, goes in my pocket. Good job, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody got a ten dollar bill? <laughs> All those hands went down fast. Would you like your money back? Good. You can hop up on the bench for me again. This is the fun part. All right, good job. Hold out your right arm. Hold out your other right arm. There you go. Hold out your left arm too. Great job. Clap real hard and fly down here and get it. <laughs> All right, stay there one more time. We'll send it back for real. Hold out just one hand. Open your hand flat. A little bit higher. Perfect. Frankie will fly out there, walk out, and put that right back in your hand. Just hold real still. Let Frankie do all the work in his hand. Good boy. Good. Very nice. Good boy. Thank you. Now again, Frankie is a Gotham's cockatoo. These birds are found in the rainforest of Indonesia. Now, we don't expect you to believe they'd be out there flying around the rainforest looking for dollar bills. But here's a pretty good example how they might pick up some of their nesting material or some of the other food items they might eat. Great job, Frankie. Off you go. All the way down, buddy. Good boy. Now, mimicry is a very natural behavior for a lot of parrots in the wild. In the wild, they might learn to mimic the sounds of other birds 